Welcome to English with SPS. I'm Geraldine from Free Academic English, and today we're going to talk about the world of dictionaries. Dictionaries are essential for every learner, but you need to choose a dictionary that suits you, that goes according to your needs. For example, you will need a different dictionary if you are a basic student, if you are an intermediate student, or if you are an advanced student. So I'm going to show you some great dictionaries you can use and that you can buy here at SBS. Okay, so if you're a basic student or you're just starting, a bilingual dictionary is very useful for you. So I recommend these two dictionaries. You have the Oxford one and the Longman dictionary. Uh, they not only have uh, clear explanations and translations, but they come with CDs. So they have a lot of extra activities that you can use for improving your English. I myself am studying Italian too. So I can use a bilingual dictionary in Italian. For example, this, this, this dictionary that you see here but I'm not really a fan of translating. So there are basic dictionaries that explain very, very easily things for you to understand even if you are at a basic level. This, this, these dictionaries are especially for children because they, you know how when they start learning everything is in English, so their first dictionary is also in English. So I'm gonna show you some beautiful dictionaries for them or for you, if you would like to learn with them. We have this dictionary. It's only English English. That's a monolingual dictionary. And it has short explanations and pictures. The next level dictionary, but it's also basic, is this one. It's called primary dictionary. And it also has only explanations in English and lots of pictures. There's also a beautiful dictionary that you might need for your specific needs, that it's a math dictionary. It looks like it's for children, but it's very useful for adults as well. Now, if you already understand English and you are an intermediate level, there are other dictionaries that are going to be more useful, monolingual dictionaries. If you're intermediate, you have to start with only monolingual dictionaries. So some good dictionaries are this Langman dictionary is called Worldwide. It's for pre-intermediate. That is when you are finishing the basic stage and you're moving on into the intermediate level with easy explanations for you. When you continue in this level, because this level lasts a while, there is, for a, there is a dictionary for an upper intermediate level. That is the active study dictionary. So it has more elements of grammar, it has more words, and it also has online activities and comes with a CD. This is if you're intermediate. Now, when you are in the advanced level, we're talking you need proficiency in the language, you may want to take international exams or certifications, you need an advanced dictionary. So I'm going to show you the three most beautiful dictionaries that God has created. Like this one, this is the Longma version, it's the Dictionary of Contemporary English. It also has online resources, but these are different resources. These are premium resources. You have the entire dictionary, you have grammar, exercises, lots of resources that you should really check when you are choosing a dictionary. We also have the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary. This dictionary has its last edition and it has uh, additional resources, online resources, like the iSpeaker and the iWriter. So they do help you writing essays and stuff. I mean, it's like very complete. It's not only a dictionary, but almost an entire course of English. You also have the Collins version. It's called the Co-Built Advanced Learner's Dictionary. The same, it has uh, American references, British references. All of the dictionaries have them. 
and online activities as well. This is going to become your best friend. Okay, so great news. These dictionaries are on sale right now. So you can go to any of the 20 bookstores that SBS has nationwide, all around Peru, and you can also buy them online at www.sbs.com.pe. And you can also visit my YouTube channel or me online. I am Geraldine from Free Academy English. I have videos to help you with your English whenever you want. And I have this great friend that is SBS to help me with that. Thank you for watching and see you soon.